You may have heard that CarMax has halted its exchanges and trade-ins thanks to growing interest rates and a soaring recession. In this video, I'm going to talk about the shocking details on how CarMax's booming season has ended. Let's go. All right, the shocking downfall in CarMax's earning figures. According to CarMax Chief Executive Bill Nash, its earnings report for the third quarter of 2022 showed a clear indication of the sales going down. CarMax's earnings was $0.24 cents per share, reciprocating a whopping decrease of 86% in their net income with a profit loss of $37 million. This earnings loss per share is even less than what was forecasted by analysts' target setup of $0.64. Cents. Their stock price also went through a downturn of almost 12% a day, and so their revenue fell to 24%. The details in their earnings call are enough to suggest what other used car retailers are going to face in the market in the upcoming years. So looking at how drastically CarMax's earnings fell, it's no longer a surprise to see its effects on their auctioning volume. Not that long ago, CarMax was doing pretty decent in the auction business, displaying 500 to 600 vehicles per week. Unfortunately, this figure has reduced to as low as 200 a week. Called a trust deficit or high-risk inflation, people are not trading in their used autos to CarMax, nor are they buying enough cars. Another factor for this volume reduction is how overpriced their vehicles are despite a trend of suppression in the used car market. You may have also seen some used vehicles in CarMax's auctions labeled as repos because the customers couldn't make their payments. And of course, the higher the repo rate, the higher the repo car will run through the auction. While the repos benefit the finances of small companies, it's not the ideal case with a big company like CarMax. If the customer buys a used car worth 25 grand and fails to clear payment, they can narrow down a little equity before financing. In their quarterly year earning call, CarMax's CEO also talked about how they are cautiously moving forward as the market continues to go down. All the depreciating elements are the reason their selling power has gone down to 18%. With this, CarMax's combined sales in wholesale and retail also tumbled down around 28% downgrading it to 298,000 vehicles last year. Its CEO has blamed the reduction in sales volume on the compromise of shifting units from wholesale to retail stores. This inventory offloading to retail stores occurred in light of consumer demand for low-cost vehicles by CarMax. And while its selling strength decreased, CarMax met with a tremendous increase in the administrative and production sector. And that's why CarMax decided to strike down the further expansion of their network, which we'll talk about here in a moment. CarMax has taken some obvious yet much needed steps of halting any hiring in its corporate sector. Not only that, but CarMax also paused investing in advertising campaigns for buying used cars from dealers. They know the fact that whatever cars CarMax buys will eventually devalue, and in time of low demand, there is no good deal to consider. As per analytical reports, CarMax has bought 40% fewer vehicles making around 238,000 cars compared to the previous year. And people should take it as a sign of the kind of devaluation used cars will see. So it is a smart move by CarMax not to buy or get more vehicles in the market when prices continue to drop. Let's talk about the anatomy of CarMax's car pricing. Now, this is an interesting fact to unveil because people might be expecting CarMax to drop prices given the uncertain situation ahead. Surprisingly, their pricing model is way different than most of the other used car retailers. Instead of price reduction, CarMax is committed to maintaining the same high prices but is letting in fewer cars to market. CarMax is quite successful in keeping up its gross profit per unit to approximately $220 with its pricing strategy. Interesting, huh? This strategy may not work in the long run because of their lack of purchasing power and low demand. This is indeed a big time to offer some flexibility in pricing to match the criteria of general affordability. And this is exactly the next subject here, affordability. One of the key aspects that CarMax's CEO discussed is that price affordability affects customers living on the edge. It has in turn made it tough for retailers by pushing down their retail and wholesale prices. Seeing things from CarMax's point of view, price affordability, fear of climbing inflation and high interest rates are the main factors contributing to the collapse of the used car market for CarMax. At the current interest rate, the average monthly payment per unit on CarMax's vehicles has decreased to 150 bucks, but it is more likely for this average monthly price to trickle down, corresponding to the trend of low selling costs. Somehow, this price crash will help retailers like CarMax as they were paying the elevated price earlier for the vehicle sold at low cost. But finally, CarMax carries the largest volume in the used auto market. 
Contrary to their depressed sales, they conserve profitability without redoing high prices. They survived the third quarter of the fiscal year 2022, securing steady returns and selling over 900,000 cars with 140 plus locations. Let's see how CarMax will make way for the ongoing shrinkage of sales and demand for used cars moving forward. For now, the ongoing recession has put a dent in their growth rate, which is not easy to recover from. Your thoughts? Leave in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.